Welcome to part four of the Indian practical session. In this session, we are going to uh, discuss the age and post eruptive changes in dentin. These are the subjects we are going to discuss the primary, secondary, tertiary, sclerotic, and translucent dentin. These are all types of dentin that we are going to discuss and what changes happen to them or are they changes to the dentin. So, the first one is the secondary dentine. Uh, we have already explained many times in the uh, lecture and in the previous parts of this practical session that the primary dentine is the first dentine to be uh, laid out during the tooth formation. And uh, this uh, primary dentine has a special S shape. After eruption, uh, an, a new dentine starts to form, but in a different direction so a direction the direction of the tubules change and this dentine that forms after the eruption is called secondary dentine as you can see there is a difference in the tubules direction which created contour line of Owen there is no change in the uh, composition or mineralization or characteristics of dentine just a change in the tubules direction also what happens with time as I told you in part one that sometimes the peritubular dentine fills the uh, tubules of the dentine occluding them they are fully filled with peritubular dentine in that case when we put a tooth in water the tubules in the tooth are filled with water but the places where the uh, tubules are occluded with peritubular dentine, they will have the same refract light refractive index as the intertubular dentine. So the peri and the intertubular dentine become or have the same refractive index, which makes them translucent under water or under light. That's why we can see the background behind the tooth. And I have already also explained that because of the convergence of the tubule, we can see this as a butterfly shape in cross sections. Another change that can have post eruptive is what we call tertiary dentine. Tertiary dentine is the dentine that is deposited in the tooth because of a stimulus. A stimulus like a trauma or caries. Uh, a lot of uh, these stimuli causes the dentine to respond in different ways that depends on the um, kind of pathogen and the uh, uh, the uh, the um, kind of the uh, also stimulus and how fast did it happen so slow caries makes different dentine than the uh, fast caries that's why the tertiary dentine has a lot of names like reparative dentine like uh, irregular dentine um, uh, like osteodentine uh, so they have a lot of names according to how did the uh, odontoblast or the pulp reacted to the stimulus as you can see here this is the normal dentine uh, but sometimes the uh, dentines when they are uh, responding to a stimulus the number of dentines uh, of uh, the osteoblasts uh, get less they, they die because of the stimulus if the caries for example were fast and harsh sometimes um, the uh, odontoblast get trapped inside the the uh, new tertiary dentine Some, so there is cell inclusions inside it Sometimes uh, they retract, the odontoblast retract the processes and leave the uh, tertiary dentine with only uh, collagen matrix. So all in all, I'm not going to ask you about different kinds of tertiary dentine. I just want to explain for you why tertiary dentine is going to look different in different histological slides. Because how odontoblasts react to the stimulus is dependent on the type of the stimulus and how fast was it as you can see in this slide so this is tertiary dentine 
above the pulp here this is the pulp so the odontoblasts started to secrete uh, tertiary dentine there is another slide I will upload it for you where you can see here a cavity preparation which means the tooth was carious and the dentist tried to uh, remove the caries and put some kind of restoration so when we take a deeper look to the uh, this tertiary dentine you can see there is no tubular uh, structure it's not uh, regular you can't see definitive dentine uh, normal histology sometimes it's reactionary uh, I'm sorry I don't know why the slide doesn't show up but please look at it in, in the um, in the lecture in the practical session presentation it just shows cells inclusion inside the tertiary dentine where the cells get trapped inside here's two you can see there's cellular inclusion in the tertiary dentine the cells are trapped because uh, the tertiary dentine was made very very fast and the odontoblast didn't have the time to retreat inside the pulp okay sometimes the dentine tries to uh, protect itself uh, really fast and what happens is a place of the uh, some area of the dentinal tubules get occluded totally with dentine so the tubules are filled with dentine and they are closed to prevent any pathogens from getting inside the tubule into the dent the uh, dental pulp we talked about this before what happens when the, all the um, tubules are occluded with dentine they become transparent and we call it translucent dentine but that happen that is called translucent dentine when it's physiological that happens with age here it happened because of a pathogen or a stimulus so it's not called transparent anymore it's called sclerotic dentine and when that happens the tubules above the legion become actually empty they are empty and when we put them in a section they become filled with air and they look black okay and we call them dead tracts of fish the same is here as you can see empty tubules and they look black they are dead tracts so the odontoblasts here they are dead the tubules here are occluded totally occluded to prevent anything from getting inside the pulp and the tubules above are empty and filled with air in the section so they look black So as you can see in this slide there is a restoration here which means there there was some carious legion there are some tracts did the tracts here filled with water, with the uh, air so they look um, uh, black here we can see some reparative dentine and in this slide also we can see you can see here there is a cavity here whether it's caries or uh, a cavity prepared by dentist but here you can see the reparative dentine you can see how much different is it from the normal dentine with the tubular structure here also you can see that there is a carious legion in the enamel and there's transparent dentine here under the legion more and more the odontoblasts here under this care there's carious legion here it's really big the odontoblasts are dead the uh, dentine above it are is occluded forming sclerotic dentine and the tubules above it are empty and filled with air looking black and called the tract fish the same thing here this is carious legion the cells here are dead there is this chloritic dentine here and the tract of fish 
in the electronic microscope uh, photo you can see the uh, dentinal tubules empty there's nothing inside so far we have finished the four parts of the practical session i hope everything was uh, understandable for you please when you uh, listen to the videos answer all the questions that uh, you face so you can be sure that you did understand everything if you answer the questions in the wrong with the wrong answers please go back every time to listen and um, recheck your information that will help you to answer the questions in the right way thank you all